afternoon slash evening slash morning slash wherever you live on the planet Earth. It is still July 6, 2018, 544 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. All right, there is a lot going on. We obviously have Hurricane Barrel that we've been following. We made a video about this this morning. Um, it has strengthened about 5 miles per hour and may be up to about 85 now, actually, which is about 72 knots, give or take. Uh, pressure has also dropped a little bit, which means it did get stronger when that pressure drops. Um, you can see in that black or the uh, red box right there, that 994 MB, that is the pressure of the storm. As that drops, the storm gets stronger, um, and the speed of the storm looks like it has also picked up. It is moving in a western direction at 13 knots. Um, a little bit more on barrel is that is it, it's actually expected to last a little longer than we had um, anticipated earlier and there were some people down in the comments that were mentioning that as well so I really appreciate the information uh, some of these spaghetti plots are taking this thing clear past the Leeward and Lesser Antilly Islands um, hopefully underneath Puerto Rico the last thing they need right now is more hurricane damage they are still cleaning up from last year um, but it looks like at this point if this thing does stay as is it's going to be more of a Dominican Republic and then a Cuba situation. So as this storm gets closer, I will get into more detail about these islands. I had some people commenting about how I don't speak about islands. Um, if you go back to my videos last year in the Atlantic, uh, the Atlantic hurricane season, all I talked about were these islands and specific areas in them. So once these storms get close enough to where it's a relevant situation to where you live, that's when I'll begin to get into more detail for those of you that were curious. Um, as we move on, though, um, actually, here we go. This is the new time frame, actually, for Barrel. Um, Sunday, Monday, and then Monday night, we have our projected area of where it should be. But again, guys, these are estimated guesses. These, uh, no one's perfect. Um, these, this is the data we have available to us to use to present to you guys. And then we just got to wait and see what happens. I mean, no one can really predict exactly where these things are going to go, how strong they're going to get, how many we're going to have. So again, I stress this. I can't stress it enough that a lot of these articles about there being a weak hurricane season, you can't bank on that uh, regardless because all it takes is one major hurricane to really just take over an entire season, and we had 10 last season. So just got to keep that in mind when it comes to weather, and they don't have to be hurricanes to be damaging. So we always got to remember that. Uh, just a quick look at the temperatures, guys. We are still clearly dealing with a heat wave. I know it is summer, but there is some significant hot temperatures going on, and there is some crazy thunderstorms uh, stretching all along the East Coast with lightning uh, we're actually going to come back to this chart. Lightning, like I haven't seen it in a long time. I know I've probably said that a few times on this channel, but it does get pretty intense. This is over 42,000 lightning strikes in a day. You can see all these green lines going off right now. That is live. That is happening as we speak right now. Uh, storms all over the U.S. So... Let's keep that in mind as well as we look out for our friends in the U.S. Now, I want you to pay attention here to Ventu Sky because we are going to be talking about another possible hurricane, tropical storm, already a tropical depression, which is our third one of the year, which would be Chris. Um, we already have spaghetti plots for it actually forming right next to the Carolinas, and then it seems to want to move right up past Chesapeake Bay and then out into the Atlantic, hopefully, but we could see some significant surf damage in this area before that happens by the Carolinas and Virginia. And then we got, you know, Chesapeake Bay in there. We have New Jersey and then Long Island. All these coastal areas will feel the effects of this regardless of whether it becomes a hurricane or not. So once again, I'm making that point that we do not need these storms to become hurricanes or even tropical storms to cause significant um, deplacing of people, uh, uh, surf uh, issues, waves, uh, beach erosion, uh, things of that nature, and of course flooding, which is the uh, the worst of all, besides the wind that would come with a hurricane. So, um, a lot of information packed into this video. I'm going to try to keep it short and sweet for you guys, so uh, we can digest it all. But just take a look at the U.S. right now and look at all this red, guys. These are severe thunderstorms. This is a big stretch 
Uh, part of this passed over the Northeast last night, as I explained this morning. Uh, this woke us up out of our sleep. Uh, me and my girlfriend, actually, um, in the middle of the night, it was a big storm. And then it ended in the morning, and now we are actually waiting for another round of storms. So, um, as I back this up, we can see how um, earlier this morning that set of storms passed right around there. And you can see that red right there. That is what was right over where I'm from um, at the moment. And that passed over, and then it kind of lightened up for the day. I got my full work day in. I actually just got home from work, and now I'm looking at this now, and check this out, guys. Look at all these reds coming, and that has to do with a lot of moisture being pulled up from the Gulf. That has to do with that moisture system that could be Tropical Storm Chris uh, right after uh, Hurricane Barrel has been named. So... Um, as far as a slow and weak Atlantic hurricane season, as of right now, that is not what I'm seeing. So uh, we just got to wait a couple more weeks and see how many letters we can go through. Because uh, once again, if you guys remember, Hurricane Harvey was not until August. And then after that, 10 storms back to back. So if we don't see a hurricane until August, that doesn't mean that it's going to be a weak hurricane season. So... Um, for those of you that were asking those questions, that is the best answer I can give you at this moment. So, as far as the Weather Channel, they have to say about the possibility of Tropical Storm Chris. Uh, tropical Depression likely to form off the Carolina coast, uh, may become Tropical Storm Chris. Um, this is a Tropical Depression as of right now, as I showed you right here. Number three, we're at 30 mile per hour sustained wind. That's 25 knots. Um, as you can see, the uh, pressure is 1016. So, with a little comparison here, we move down to barrel. That is 994. So, that also uh, validates what I was trying to say before is as the pressure drops, the storms get stronger. So, if we see this drop below 1000, chances are it will be a tropical storm. Then as it gets below that, we could be looking at the Category 1 status hurricane of Chris. Now, we can't set that in stone yet, of course, because nobody can predict weather. All we can do is rely on the data. Um, and also, along with that, guys, on the other side of the planet, we have a major, major typhoon, like a super major typhoon um, Mariah, you could see here, which has already displaced over a million people in Japan. It's expected to make landfall. Um, this is a very serious situation in that area. Japan flooding forces more than one million to flee. Uh, four killed already, and this thing hasn't even really hit land yet. This is just the push-in of water uh, that this thing is causing. So this is one of the bigger storms we've seen in a long time. Uh, flooding and storms in western and central Japan killed at least four people. Local reports said 1.3 million were forced to evacuate. Uh, that's over a million, obviously. Um, and several people are missing. Dozens were injured, according to officials. So we're going to keep an eye on that as well, guys. But, of course, I had to jump on here, and we have to talk about this stuff. This is why we're here. This is why this channel's here. And this is why I have committed to making these videos for you guys. Um, I can't thank you enough for the, the positive words down below. Uh, we do get some clowns down there, but you know what? That comes with the territory. It's part of YouTube. Um, either ignore them, don't ignore them. You know what? It doesn't matter to me. I let most comments stay unless they're absolutely vulgar and just disrespectful. Then they will be removed from my channel. Um, I just don't promote that type of stuff, and that's not why we're here. We are here to talk about the weather, we are here to talk about d uh, data, and we're here to warn people about what they should and could expect in the coming weeks and months. So, um, with that said, I believe we've covered everything that we need to talk about right now. Um, uh, we're talking every couple hours, we could have a significant update. So, I am home now, I will be uh, uh, watching this like a hawk for the rest of the night going into tomorrow morning which will be my next video. If not, I will have one up later on this evening if there are any significant changes. But um, let's just take a look at this chart once again. So uh, look up here first uh, to the east coast of the U.S. Uh, we are seeing that typical barrel roll situation counterclockwise, and that is when you start seeing tropical depressions. So we see that there. We clearly see it with a hurricane barrel right here. And then we have another tropical wave above it, which could be something we don't know yet. It may turn into an invest um, if it can stay along this path, if it could stay out of uh, cooler water. 
So, um, again, as far as a weak Atlantic hurricane season, that is not what I'm seeing right now. Um, and the Western Pacific is clearly not slowing down anytime soon. So, guys, once again, thank you all so much for the support. Um, uh, those of you that have emailed me and talked to me on Patreon, which I don't really talk about much in my videos. I do have a link in my description box. Thank you so much. Um, I can't thank you enough for that. I don't like talking about it only because, you know, it, it, it's a choice of yours. It's not something I'm asking for. Um, I don't necessarily need it, but um, it's there for those of you that um, enjoy the work I put out. Uh, it does take a lot of effort and time to put these videos together. And also with the help of my girlfriend, it's just been making it a lot easier with the hours I work. I work usually from 6.30 in the morning, 7 in the morning till 5 at night every day. Or six days a week, I'm off on Sundays. So that's why I usually put out a couple videos Sundays. So um, I just want to thank you all again for um, continuing to watch and um, support this channel. Uh, because it's not going anywhere, guys. We, Like I said, and I always say this, we are just getting started here. This is our going into our second year. Uh, we passed our one-year mark in May, and um, we're going to keep on going with this. So I hope everyone is staying safe. Uh, try to stay out of the rain today. I know I couldn't do that, but I'm dry now. I'm good to go. And we will see you all either later tonight or early in the morning. As always, guys, thank you so much. Talk to you all very soon. Bye-bye.